Hi and hello. Um, for this lesson, we are just going to tackle about film production. So last time we have talked about the elements of a film. Then we have mentioned a lot of examples also that would um support our claims or to basically explain the elements we have discussed last last meeting. All right. So for this one, we are just going to look at the processes from which these films are produced. Okay, so main film crew, so ito, but of course, hindi lang naman limited on this. We have the producer, the director, writer, director of photography or cinematographer, um, production design, music scorer, and designer. And as I have mentioned, we are not only enclosed into these. No, yung iba, um, we divide the tasks into little um, divisions, little committees para mas smooth yung pag-flow ng isang or pag-produce natin ng isang film. Okay, so these are the production phases. We are going to um, to discuss each and, um, phase of, uh, of the production. Okay, so there are three phases of production common to most professionally produced motion pictures. So, we have pre-production phase, production, and the post-production phase. So, basically, madali naman siyang tandaan kasi since this is a process nga, kailangan sunod-sunod lang naman siya. Okay, so pre-production, pre-phase. In general, the pre-production phase encompasses all aspects of preparation that are performed before the camera starts to roll. Okay, so hindi naman siya ganun kahirap intindihin. That's why we are um, we are calling this as pre-production because we are settling everything before the camera rolls. Okay? Some aspects of pre-production include screenwriting. So, we've discussed about the literary elements and all. Diba? Storyboarding. Funding, of course. Assembling a crew. Casting. Costume design. Location scouting. Set design. Properties or yung props natin tinatawag. We are really very particular on this. And scheduling, of course. So, nasa tamang organization to. People behind the pre-production phase are really essential for the success of the film. Okay? Kasi sila yung main organizers. Sila yung mga writers, of course, no? Sila din yung mga props men. Um, sila yung nagpa-plano ng lahat. So, basically, they are the planners. Before it all begins, sila muna. Okay? Yun yung essence nila. And hindi mabubuhay or hindi magiging successful itong film na ito without these people standing behind the pre-production phase. Alright? So, dapat, ano din sila? Strategic din sila, of course, when it comes to to making up of the storyboard. To screenwriting, of course, yung, uh, yung script and everything. Costume design, everything, no? Alright, so screenplay or script. The screenplay supplies the general plan for the production of a film. So, as I have mentioned, these people are the planners. They plan everything. Okay? So, before execution of everything, it should be well planned. Alright? There are two types. The spec script. Okay? So, that is the first type of script. Remember, spec script. Written for a reader, not a director. Okay? So, when we say spec script... Ito yung ano, kumbaga, um, ito yung mismong, mismong sinasabi ng isang actor or ng isang actress. Okay? Na may explain natin moreover. The shooting script is the other one. is more of a production document. Okay? So, ito naman yung shooting script natin tinatawag. Um, pag sinabi natin ganito or shooting script, ito yung nasa production na mismo. Okay? This is what you're gonna do. This is what you're gonna do next and all. Alright? Isa pa, uh, mas i-deepen natin yung understanding on this. The spec or speculation script is the version of a screenplay that writers distribute to producers in the hope that it will be optioned or considered for production. Okay? So, when we say pre-production, ito yung mismong, I mean, pre-production speculation script, ito yung mismong um, sinasabi ng mga actors. Okay? They highlight the main 
dialogues perhaps no slug lines ayan it primarily it primarily contains slug line or yung brief description of the setting business ayan descriptions of characters or actions dialogue the lines intended to be spoken by the actors so meaning to say this will be the highlights okay so when we say speculation script it pe present mo siya to the future producers future sponsors of your film Okay? Para ano? Para supportahan yung film mo. Thus, making them produce th- or this film. Or support this film. Even yung iba, if a fund itong film na to. Diba? Kaya nga yung mayaman yung mga producers. Kasi, um, alam nyo yun, yung script na prinesent sa kanila, no? yung mga script, yung mga dialogues and all, would be somehow worth engaging to. Or, kumbaga, worth ng investment nila. Kung mag invest talaga sila on this. Okay? So, yun yung speculation script. Yung shooting script is a much more detailed version of the spec script that includes numbered scenes, specific camera angles, and other technical information. Alright. So, when we say the shooting script, ang sabi nga natin, this is very detailed. That's why, if you were planning to pursue... Um, a career on writing or script writing, mahahasa at mahahasa ka talaga dito. Your knowledge and skills would be enhanced on this. Or by this one. No? Kasi sa shooting script, very detailed, lahat ng galaw ng actors and actresses, lahat ng camera angles, lahat ng facing niyan, ganyan. Lahat ng paggalaw or movement ng bawat isa, it should be well documented. Okay? Very clear, very detailed yung pagtingin natin ng shooting script. Okay? So, here is an example of a shooting script. So, ayan. Kung mabasay nyo, ito na ha, ito na yung mismo example natin of shooting script. Ayan, all the art press that has to be there. Ayan. Kung baga yung lighting, dapat nandito din. Dapat ay stronger yung light dito sa force na, sa, sa area na to. Ganyan. So, very, ano siya, very detailed. Alright. So, yun yung pre-production, no? Meaning to say, generally, preparation siya of everything. Then, we have production phase. The production phase refers to the period of time when the film is actually being shot. Okay? Some aspects of production include direction, camera operation, lighting, sound recording, and of course, acting. So, ito yung gitna. Ito na yung shooting natin na tinatawag. This is the event from which you shoot every setting or every, ang tag dito? Every scene, di ba? Um, shoot na natin siya. So, dito naman, ang very particular naman dito, as we have mentioned before, no? Yung mga directors, even cameramen or women, yung nagahawak ng lights, sila naman yung mga uh, main characters natin dito or yung mga kumikilos not uh, kumikilos for this to become successful. Okay? And of course, the actors and actresses, syempre, sila yung back and back, um, kumbaga, backbone ng lahat, ba? Diba? And yan, during production, these roles are usually delegated to, pro- to the production departments listed on the next two slides. Okay? So, we have production departments. Kaya nga, naghahati-hati tayo ng trabaho, ba? Diba? We are dividing every tasks para mas smooth. Diba? Sabi na natin yan before. Para mas smooth, we divide tasks. Um, hinahati natin sa tao. Depende sa skills na kaya nila. Diba? So, that is the production phase. And, we also have the, these departments. Direction, camera, and lighting. So, of course, these are somehow familiar to you naman. Direction, of course, the director. And kung meron siyang assistant director, they, they work together. And they should go hand in hand naman, diba? Overseas all aspects of the production. Kaya ka nga, director, you are looking at the uh, macro level. Lahat yan, tinitingnan mo. All aspects, bawat sulok, bawat galaw, everything. Diba? So, we know that already. Camera, cinematographer, overseas camera, operation, and lighting plan. Kasi, diba, as we have mentioned, itong mga lights, they indicate something. They may even symbolize something for the scene. Okay? Camera operator, operates the camera. Siyempre, ganun naman siya. And assistant camera, cameraman, no? Parang, di ba, more cameraman, 
more happy, more me- uh, more ano, more successful siguro, no. Kasi pag nag-fail yung isa, at least you have backup. Okay, lighting, cinematographer, versus camera operation and lighting plan. Oh, yan sa lighting naman to. They must know saan nagsha-shine better yung isang actor or saan mas effective na ito yung lagyan ng ilaw. O kaya saan side mas effective din na ito naman yung lagyan. 'Di ba? So that would be the role of the um, cinematographer or yung taga-ilaw, 'di ba? Lighting director, ganyan. Then, ito ta pa, sound dere sound, 'di ba? So it could be um a department in the production phase. So sound mixer, boom operator, clapper, alam niyo clapper, 'di ba ito? Ito ito na sa slide na to. Yan, so yun yung ano naman, um role ng mga sound directors, even insert of sound effects. So sila naman yung bahala diyan. Kaya nga siya divis- division of tasks or division of labor, we are dividing these tasks para mas magaan or maging mas smooth siya as we shoot a scene, a particular scene. Then, talent, of course, these would be compressed by the actors and the actresses. And, kagaya din naman ng kahit anong film, we must choose the best. Okay? Kung baga, suited sa personality niya yung character na gagampanan niya on a particular film. Miscellaneous, so, ito naman yung mga ina-add na lang natin for for betterment, of course, of the of the film. Yan, production coordinator, yan, scheduling, continuity or script girl, makeup artist, production assistant, ayan. So, ito yung mga nakakadagdag din naman. And they really help a lot para dun sa film. All the departments and positions described on the last two slides serve one goal. Okay? And even, lahat naman sila, lahat ng department from the pre-production to the post-production, they must look at one goal. Okay? To capture the sound and image necessary to tell the story. They must be able to tell the story to the audience. They must capture the attention of the audience. They must able they must be able to um alam niyo yun para sabihin what would be the message of the movie. Um although going into every detail of production is far beyond the scope of this course, let's consider the nuts and bolts that go into filmmaking. Really, it's a really uh, it's a complicated thing, no? Hindi siya yung something na we just take for granted or madali lang to. O kaya naman, okay, mukhang easy lang naman, 'di ba? Matrabaho talaga siya. So, sabi ko nga kanina, if you're going to venture into film someday as a recreation or a source of living, then perhaps you would know a lot about this. Ah, kaya naman you are be you will be able to enhance yourself through engaging into these particular films or through working with these small films ganyan. Post production phase, so this is the um last phase natin for the production of a film. Ayan, refers to the period of time after the film is shot. Okay, so ito na yung tapos na. Tapos na yung shooting. No, kung artista ka, tapos ka na mag-shooting, ganyan. So, ililipat na natin sa post-production phase. Uh, these may include processing and printing of film. So, nandito na, ang, ang load naman na nandito would be for the editors. Okay? And sabi din natin last time, editors are really backbone din of a film. ba diba? Minsan, napapaganda nila ang pangit naman talagang film. Diba? So, it's really up to the hands of the editor, up to his or her skills. Transferring sound to mug stock, yan, audio tape with sprocket holes, yan. So, ano lang, parang sila yung nag-store, nag edit basta post-production, na-shoot ng lahat sa kanilang kamay na yun, mag, um, mag-stay, parang ganyan. Creating an assemblage, creating a rough cut, creating a fine cut, and final audio mix. So, in this way, ina-edit na natin. Pinapaganda na, na, nat- na natin and it should be ready for distribution na. Or for viewing. Okay? So, medyo mabigat din yung role nila yung mga tao sa post-production phase. Yan. Conforming the original negative. Yan. Kung, yun na ba diba? Kung yung makalulumang makalumang mga films, medyo neg- ano tag din na? 
black and white pa, grayish yung color. So, ayan. Doon pa lang, dapat magaling na talaga yung editor. How much more these days? We have technology and some innovations and, you know, modern platforms, modern, alam niya yan, applications for us to have a good videography or cinematography. So, the editor would be really particular on those things. Ayan, creating a married print. Ayan. Ano lang naman to, for printing or for producing the film. Okay, so yan, ano lang naman to. Sum up, scenario pre-production, we have scenario and script writing, actors, characteristic internalization, production scheduling and budgeting, of course, shooting, location, service, and permitting. And sa production naman, we have shooting na mismo, ba? Diba? So, sa direct, uh, directing, motion picture recording, and sa post-production, ulitin lang din natin, we have editing, musical music arrangement, kung meron nga, and rendering, ba? Diba? So, equally, maano naman to. Kumbaga, I mean, halat, um, yung bigat nung work nila, ay mukhang equal naman. No? Kumbaga, pare-parehas lang din naman. And as mentioned, they should look at one goal to make this film a successful one. Okay? So, yun lang. Ganun lang ka yung discussion natin on this. Parang nirap lang din natin yung... Uh, and refresh even yung discussion natin last time kasi medyo matagal tayo nag-discuss. And should, I should announce by this time na you will have an activity on this. Your activity would be a film showing, of course. Okay? So, ilalagay ko sa announcement. And, of course, yung link din ng video. Nasa YouTube lang naman siya para naman um, accessible sa lahat. Chine ko naman by in this time. Yeah, kachacha ko lang. Na nandun pa naman siya sa YouTube. Hindi pa siya nire-remove. Uh, maganda siya. Napili ko siya movie. Kasi, uh, most of you... Actually... Ay, oo, tama. Most of you are accountancy students, ABM. But I have one section na, ano, mga marino. But anyway, um, karamihan sa inyo, if not all, ganyan. O sige, meron, para safe na lang. Meron sa inyo na magpa-person ng law someday. ba diba? So, yun. Kaya ako siya napila. I think it will suit your personality and it may inspire others then to pursue law. Ganyan. So, yun lang yung sasabihin ko. By this time, this is a Filipino indie film na pinunod ko ngayong pandemic. And it's it's really a good story. It's really a good film. Um, ano pa ba? What should I say? And your output, of course, should be an analysis and a reflection paper. Okay? Combined na rin siya in one output. Ayan. So, in your paper, you are going to analyze... Um, yan, the elements that we have discussed in film. Okay? Or in film as our topic last time and today. Okay, so analyze nyo. Tapos, embed nyo dun sa, dun sa film na pinanood nyo. Apply. Kumbaga, application lang of what we have learned last time. Then, you may insert your reflections. The part 2 would be your reflections. Okay? Personal reflections lang naman. What have you thought about the movie? Was it good? Was it bad? So, hindi naman sa kagaya ng performance tas niya na kasi yung bigat ng art critic. But you you insert your reflections. Okay? Kung ano lang yung mga thoughts baffled inside your head, go lang. Okay? Again, um, write in full English or full pil- Filipino. Ganun lang naman lagi. No format. But then, as mentioned then, kagaya ng dati, yung readable. And PDF nyo ipapasa sa akin via course message again. So, that will be your task 3. Okay? So, um, ano kasi, dalawang oras kasi yung movie. Yun yung assignment nyo, o, ba Movie marathon yung assignment. Dalawang oras yung movie, more or less. And, we will devote that uh, the next week, or next week na lang, para um, panoorin niya yung movie na yun. Kasi I think magiging unfair naman if kakain ng maraming oras sa inyo on a particular week. 
Kasi dalawang oras lang tayo supposedly. So, yun yung gagamitin nyo for you to view your film. Okay? And submission, the following week na. But, for para lang clear, ipopost ko na lang din sa announcement kung kailan yung um, specific submission. Okay? So, that's it. We only had 20 minutes of it lang para lang i-wrap up yung discussion natin ng film. Okay, so that's it. Thank you and have a safe and nice week ahead.